Hi, I'm Dave Gerard, Head of Hardware Development for Midas KT. I'm here today at Frankfurt Pro Light and Sound to introduce to you our new flagship Pro X console. The Pro X console is um, an extension of our Pro 369 livery with a phenomenal 168 inputs, 96 buses, and 24 processing effects engines. All in the same footprint as the original 369 consoles. The way we've managed to extend the functionality of the consoles is with the introduction of our new Neutron DSP processing engine. This is the culmination of three years R&D effort and sets the platform for the future generation of, our, of all our existing console lines. This is what makes the Pro X possible. The Pro X currently only utilises 75% of the processing capability of the Neutron DSP engine. What this means, currently you can have an M plus one redundant system or you can expand to make future larger consoles. Let's just take, take you through the rear of the unit. This module here is our inbuilt HyperMac router. We have dual HyperMac connections on both copper and fibre to the front of house control unit. Optional external synchronizations for AES3 or word clock. In addition, we have eight AES50 ports for IO box connection and an ethernet tunnel that tunnels through from the control surface for third party control of any audio IP based uh, module. Next we have the four DSP cards. This configuration is running the Pro X, three are active and the fourth one is currently the N plus one redundant card. In addition we have our triple PSU unit which is N plus one redundant. For any existing Pro 369 user, uh, they will be familiar with this connectivity and this connectivity as they are the same. And in actual fact, the unit is directly replaceable from the old 371 unit. Hi, my name's Peter Sadler and I'm Head of Software for Midas Clark Technic. And I'm here at Music Mesa, here to look at the Pro X and some of its deeper features and some of the decisions we made. The Pro X presented quite a number of challenges for us in software. One of the things that was a problem for us was to keep the same form factor of the 3, 6 and 9 in order to provide an upgrade pack for our customers whilst cramming in the sheer number of channels that we have done. One of the things you can see here on the right is the overview page or the meter bridge as people call it and there is an absolute massive channels there and we've done a fantastic job in cramming the features in there or the channels in there while retaining real great readability at the same time. Here on the screen you can see the number of sends we have available here. We have 72 auxes and we have 24 matrix. Each of course is configurable either mix minus or in group mode. Navigating the channels has been made a little easier and we've done this by utilising the extend button. The extend button allows all 26 faders to be used to navigate the inputs and this is how it's easier to navigate those 168 channels. The other navigation layer that we have is to navigate all the output buses in pages of 24 and we can do this by the centre section here. By pressing the scroll keys we have pages of 24 buses available and in addition you'll be able to select a single bus here for stereo and ear monitoring so we can have 24 in-ear monitors available as the push of a button. One of the other challenges is the patching screen. And in order to retain familiarity for Pro 3, 6 and 9 users, we wanted to keep the same layout, but we also didn't want to make it too complex. So we've done this on the patching screen by adding additional tabs, some for ultra returns, and some for key inputs and sources. And so anybody that's used the Pro 3, 6 and 9, it will be immediately familiar and the added benefit as well is any existing show files that they already have will be automatically compatible with a Pro X as well. Whilst Pro X and Neutron represent the next generation of consoles, here in R&D we're hugely excited because we've only used a fraction of the available processing power of Neutron. We're currently working on some really, really exciting projects which will hopefully deliver you very, very, very soon 
We're excited about it. I hope you are too.